Hey folks, it's Mira Desi, the Ingredient Guru, and I am sitting here with my good friend and colleague, Dr. Gary Groon, and we are having a wonderful conversation. We're here in Texas, where it is hot and sunny outside, and those of you who follow me know that I absolutely love your sunscreen. It's called Third Rock Sunblock, and it is made with 100% food grade edible ingredients. And you know, folks, what's in your sunscreen is hugely important to your overall health. So can you tell us about that? That's true. Uh, your skin is your biggest organ. Yes. So what you put on your skin will wind up in your body. In fact, there's been studies about it getting into the blood plasma oh, as wow. well as into the urine. And that's things like oxybenzone, which of course our product doesn't have any of that. We use just chelated silver oxide, uh, zinc oxide, sorry, chelated zinc oxide. And actually, the reason you're, you and I are together is because we manufacture it here in Houston, which Isn't is a good awesome? place, especially today, because it is really bright, really hot, and really sunny. So, um, yeah, so that's part of it. It has no endocrine disruptors, no female mimicking hormones. Yeah. That's what was the really the genesis of it. Uh, and the, every other sunscreen on the planet probably does have some form of uh, endocrine disruption, including soy-based products, which are genistine, and our, our product doesn't have any of that. In the presence of the sun, the aromatherapeutic one, which is the one you like, that has rosemary and frankincense in yes. it, that one is also aromatherapeutic, which means that it boosts your immune system in the presence of the sun, which almost every other sunscreen sort of uh, has a tendency to lessen your immune response, which is the last thing you need on a bright sunny day like today when you're baking in the sun. Whether you're on vacation or in Houston, it really doesn't matter. Even if you're driving back to where I'm going back to today, you're going you're gonna to be exposed to the sun. Your, your arm might be next to the window, your sunroof might be open, you're still going to get a whole bunch of UV radiation. The other thing about the sunscreen is it's the best UVA protectant on the planet. So we make this chelated uh, zinc oxide, as I mentioned, and the chelated zinc oxide literally absorbs and reflects the UVA light more than anything else. Why is that important? UVA is what causes DNA damage. Wow. DNA damage lists, uh, re, uh, results in, in mutation. Mutation re results eventually in aging or wrinkling or skin cancer. So, and if you live to be 65 in this country, which I hope we'll get there, <laughs> if you live to be 65, there's a 50-50 chance you'll have some form of skin cancer. 50-50? Really? 50-50 chance from, I no idea uh, of high. some form of skin cancer. Could be melanoma, could be carcinoma, could be basal cells, but 50-50 chance. Wow. Which is just, just shows you that there's just really That's big amazing. problems. The sun care industry as a whole has just got really big issues in terms of, for example, the FDA. So the FDA in their infinite wisdom, and we know how wise they are, is that um, in the 2011 monograph, they said, well, you can't ever show an SPF product to be higher than 50. Well, it turns out that Neutrogena has got uh, many, many national commercials for a product that's 100 SPF. Wow. First of all, that's insane, because it isn't 100 SPF the, day, the, the, the minute it touches your skin. Plus, it's full of these endocrine disruptors, these, these uh, "Quote unquote artificial sunscreens," yeah, and it doesn't work. The other thing about it is, if you go, if you talk about UVA versus UVB, SPF is about UVB. Uh -huh. So think about it this way: UVB is what protects you from turning red. That's not necessarily a good thing. You can put any kind of gunk on yourself, like water and oil. As you know, when you were when we were growing up, it was probably oil. Just it you was could get baby us, oil. It was baby oil. Really bad. I have burn scars from burn that. scars from baby oil. Well, yes, because you were trying to get a tan. Yes. And look good. So yes. So that's UVB that causes that. Well, UVB is what SPF is all about. Sun protection factor. Right. So an SPF of 30, for example, for you and me, 10 minutes in the sun, we would start turning pink. Right. 10 times 30 is closer. three. 10 times 30 is 300 minutes. Wow. Right. Of protection from turning red. Well, even if that really happened, which it doesn't, but even if it really happened, you'd still be getting all this UVA exposure, which is not anything to do with SPF. Uh -huh. So the UVA light that you're getting, you're gonna get more of it because you think you're protected from burning, and therefore you, you think you're protected from getting all the rays that are harmful by the wow. sun, but you're not. You're only, you're only being protected by UVB. So what should people look for 
that's in your product mm -hmm. that protects them against the UVA mm -hmm. that's not in a whole bunch of the other sunscreens well, out we're there. We're the only ones who make a chelated zinc oxide. It doesn't say that on our label, but if you go to our website at, at, at www.thirdrockessentials.com, then you will see that we actually have a plot that we show about how, how our product's different than every other sunscreen that's out there, wow. including the mineral sunscreens that are supposedly quote unquote all natural. You really want an all natural product? is what you really want is something that's food grade edible. Meaning that if you wouldn't put it in your mouth, why on earth would you put it on your skin? Hence the word third rock sunblock, right? Because yeah. it has to do with the earth. Earth grown ingredients only. We don't use any artificial anything. And the stuff we're manufacturing in Houston right now, if you were able to go down there with me and see the facility, as you walked in there, it smells like a bakery. <laughs> in fact, that's what the guys say. Every time you come, our place smells like a bakery. I said, well, that's good because you guys make a lot of energy drinks and that doesn't smell good at all. Yeah. So anyway, so that's what we go. do. That's so awesome. And you know what? I'm going to tell you that I'm such a huge fan of this stuff and I really encourage people to make sure that they're getting the best quality sunscreen that they can. No matter where you live, sun exposure can be really challenging. And for those who have very sensitive skin or who have concerns about cancer, you want to make sure that you're protecting it